Hi everybody, um, I've put this video together um, because I know there have been issues for those that have bought the HD PVR from Horpajul, whatever you pronounce it, um, and there's a loss of signal. As you can see, this is a quick video, I'm not showing you how to set up your HD PVR, that's pretty self-explanatory, there's loads of tutorials on, on YouTube, making sure your connections are right, etc, etc, and making sure you've got the right um, um, resolution on your TV to make sure it all works, so as I said I'm not going to be discussing that. The only thing I will say about cables is that my HD PVR is connected to my PC or my iMac um, straight in, it's not via a hub um, and I've also made sure that my USB cable is 2.0 compatible. So as you can see at the moment my TV is on, it has a signal and that signal is coming through my HD PVR which is down here and just to show um, as you can see the blue light status is on there's no other lights on because it is not connected to my uh, my my computer this obviously will change when it is connected so just wanted to show you that the system is working I'm not getting any signal loss or any issues around signal drop and so all is functioning well. As soon as I turn on the um, or load up the software and I'm using ITV3 um, as soon as this is connected and it tries to find a signal What you'll find is the TV goes blank and it comes up no signal and I can't play the game and also I can't record and the image on the um, software freezes. And the only way I've done lots of things, I've played around with cables, made sure everything's plugged in, etc. etc. Looked at all the configurations on the uh, in the software, it's all working, it's all there. And to me, I feel that there is a communication issue, obviously, between the PVR and the software. So, what I've done is going back down to the PVR, is turned it off. Now, when you see the signal flashing, it's still got the blue status light. Um, and the red light comes on, that tells me when the red light comes on, that there is communication. Then when it disappears... That's when I get issues with the signal. But anyway, the solution that I have found to sort this out for me, and it only works, it's worked for me, so I'm hoping that it will also work for, for a number of you, is all I simply have done is turned it off. With everything connected, Xbox still on, lap, my computer is still on, and the software is still running. And um, obviously it's, the screen's disappeared, but my software is still running on the Mac. And I've left it off for a period of time, uh, 30 seconds or so, 15 seconds however. And then I have then turned it back on. Watch the status light. Goes from amber. Now I want that to switch off and go to red. Which it does. And that is now not flickering. Um, and that tells me now that there is communication and decoding going on between the HD PVR and my computer. So you can see I'm not losing any signal and the image has appeared on my screen. Um, I can show you that I'm not getting any issues, sorry, but I'm not getting any issues now with losing um, signal. What I did notice is that if I uh, come out of the software, so if I quit the software on my Mac, uh, swing back round, obviously still got a signal on my TV, no problems. Status is now blue, well, remains blue, but the red status light has now gone. Just out of interest, I tried to find out what the amber and the red meant. I can't find it anywhere. I've looked online. I looked in the manual and it doesn't really give me an idea of what the two stages mean. What I've worked out is, is that if it's amber, I get problems with the signal. If it's red, 
I don't get problems with the signal as long as the red light remains on all the time, consistently, constantly. So therefore I know what I should be seeing on the front of the panel. So as I said, I've now turned off the software, and if I turn the software back on, and this is confirming to me that there is an issue with the communication between the software and the HD PVR, and that it is not the HD PVR unit itself, because it works when the software is off, and I, I can play my Xbox, no problems at all. So now it's back on, you can see, um, I will lose signal, there it goes, no signal, no signal, and the status is now blue. And again, what I would do is turn it off, um, and leave it off for a bit, like I've done before. As you can see, the software is now not active, although it is still loaded on the, on the Mac. I've had to do this a couple of times sometimes, whereby when I've turned it back on, it hasn't kind of rebooted itself. And I've had to turn it off and wait a bit longer before turning it back on again. Obviously I've got no image because the HD PVR is turned off. So turn it back on. What I'm waiting for is the amber light. I just haven't got a clue what it means. Now that should go off. And typically it's not going to go off. Now I know I'm going to get a problem. Because the amber light is not going off. I mean this is such a simple process of turning the thing on and off. It's not very technical, I know, but this is what I've found has resolved the issues that, um, of no signal. So I'll turn it off again, leave it for a bit. I did see somebody had written on their, one of their sites about um, sorting out this problem, is that they've had to turn it off three or four times before they actually managed to resolve. So this is probably the same process. So if I turn it back on, after a few seconds, Amber, please go off. I'd like you to go off, there it goes, gone off, red should come on, remains on, TV comes back on, and the um, software activated, and as you can see, apart from the reflection, I'm really sorry, but, um, but, it sh but as you can see there, the, the software is now working, and I can therefore now start recording, and I've done that many times, and that seems to be the only thing that I can suggest as um, solving it for me. It may work for you, I hope it does. I know how frustrating it is when a piece of equipment doesn't function properly, but as I said, I haven't put this down to the hardware, I've put this down to communication. So make sure you've got some you know, USB that is compatible, or that is 2.0, and as I said, I've bypassed any hubs, I've gone straight into the back of the, uh, the PC, or, the, uh, or the, uh, the Mac, or the laptop, whatever it is that you're using, so it goes in direct and not via any hubs. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it does help resolve some of the issues that you've probably been getting. Cheers.